Hi, I'm Dave Jensen, and welcome to another video here at our Jensen Fly Fishing Channel. Actually, more apt is welcome to the Waymulis River in Chilean Patagonia. Uh, this is a wonderful river to springboard a streamer fishing for brown trout video. Uh, you will not find a more user-friendly, angler-friendly river for uh, streamer fishing brown trout pretty much anywhere. In this video and on the day that we filmed this video, we came in just after high water and that means that the trout that are in the river are stacked into uh, um, holding water, high water holding water locations. And just as the water levels are coming down, those fish are gonna be stacked where they're forced to by high water. We're also coming in with two to three feet of visibility of water uh, just after our rain. So you can't make any better conditions for streamer fishing than this. It's a wonderful opportunity to really showcase tail out features. And by that, I mean the slots and the rocks and the big uh, depth changes between gravel waves or uh, basically rock ledges, those kinds of things where those fish endure high water. It's an absolute gem of a river to show what's possible fishing tail out streamers. Through the years, fishing streamers, um, pretty much on every continent that we've fished, uh, you know, South America, New Zealand, and Western North America, we've had a lot of days of fishing streamers in conditions like this, and the fishing's almost always the same. And it's a great springboard video to, to encourage you if you haven't come over and downloaded our Small Streams Woolly Bugger and Streamers course, it's available through our website. This course ties in my fly box of uh, well, woolly buggers and muddler minnows and a few other core uh, basic, really basic patterns that I use, how to tie them, why I tie them the way they do, and also ties in a full course on breaking down a river and what key features and structures that I fish in in order to have maximum success no matter the conditions that I'm fishing. That course is available through the link in the description below, and we hope to see you there. Let's kind of get some bangies out of the system here. There he is. Yeah, the shallow tailouts. Okay, guys, so on days where there's not a lot happening, uh, one really great spot that you can target is a tailout. And it's really cool if you get to the tailout, as you see Hayden standing there, he's just over his ankle deep. Amelia is now not quite knee deep and I literally caught just caught uh, the one fish just above me here maybe in knee deep water and the other one was cast across there and probably knee deep water there's all sorts of broken rock here and these fish could be anywhere in this tailout and it's just a perfect spot to target uh, especially on a slow day's fishing uh, magic there's not a lot of magic in this day but you know if you just do the reading water pick that rock pick that trough pick that rock trough you know another trough over there standing in the tail out there's a big deep trough all the way up uh through this next corner you know that kind of thing and just just read the water you're gonna pick up fish it's it's just a matter of keep plugging keep plugging keep plugging and i don't know what do we caught i don't know a dozen 15 fish whatever the heck it is today it's not a lot but it's it's not hard to pick up fish what's hard is to find fish in shallow and murky water it's high uh, and actually see them before you cast or get the rising fish but i'm just going to try work basically i've got another 30 yards to those rocks up there and across i'm just going to box step through the rest of this little bit and hopefully i can pick up a fish maybe two finish that off show you what i'm talking about in terms of just work the water across the seams and the buckets and then i think i'll switch out with amelia after that and see what she does up in the corner okie dokie Let's see if I can get this thing going. Here we go. Just gonna, gonna work along here. Right up on those rocks, eh? Okay, just kind of work the main trough, the edges of it. Just off the drop off zone up in here. See if anybody comes up on that. Come on. I just caught that fish there and that other, that second last fish there. And then the other fish was right upstream. And now that wind's going to have its way with me. But I'm in the main trough here, and I'm just working the edges of these rocks, right? And I'm just going to work it just a little further over, and we'll just see what happens over. And oh, there he is. 
just off those rocks, right? Keep working those rocks and that tail out stuff. And there's some nice fish holding in less than a less than knee deep water. There's some really nice fish in here. And this is why I always have that trailer fly because that big streamer just picked up those previous two fish, but you just don't know when that little trailer streamer, woolly bugger, is gonna catch a really nice brown. I like that one. Nice. That's a nice fish. One. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful, yeah? huh? Yeah. Okay. There's gotta be one more good fish in there, doesn't there? How about those rocks again? I'm gonna come over my left side, pause, place right off those rocks. Come on now. Just to finish off these shallow rocks and the tail out. Really cool. Um, double streamer set up. I've got a kind of a yellow yummy with yellow legs. And about a foot and a half behind it, I've got a green woolly bugger. There he is. Oh, I missed him. Come on, come on back. We know he's there now. Come on. No. Okay. That was another nice fish. I'm going to leave him alone for a second. Come up here and just work the edges over here. Boy, that changing light is ridiculous, to be honest with you. Okay. And now I'm going to bring it, just going to do an upstream reach to try to let that sink down. And then I'm going to strip against the current that way and see if that will do anything. Just a different presentation. Again, in this case, the wind is coming right to left, and that's fine. So I'm just going to punch it that way, reach that way, leave that line against the current, and just kind of pulse it against the current. There he is, and just try to do that. Just some different presentation to try to induce a take from a fish that's already rejected your flies. You don't always have to change your flies, but if you change your presentation, you'll find that you can do some really cool things to get the fish to actually commit to your fly rather than just doink it. Kind of like that. That's a gorgeous fish. Okay, guys, so what the heck was that? Well, that was just me casting up and, and, and bring it back, up, bring it back, and then I had a fish hit and I just saw it roll. Next cast, it didn't come back. And then I thought, well, what if I change that? So what I did was I, I used the wind and a reach cast. Now, let me that. So obviously it's a right hand casting at that point. And I cast and then I reached upstream. And what that did was put my fly line upstream of my fly and in that case you end up doing the fly here and your line over here that way you can kind of twist it as you cast and you reach and it twists like that you end up being able to pulse your fly against the current against the current against the current and it was that third and that fish that had previously refused non-committal came back and bang why change of direction change of action change of something induce the strike whereas the pr cast previous it wasn't it was not willing to commit so sometimes if you do a little change of angles change of speed of retrieve or depth uh, just something in that case it was the angle and the action that got that fish to connect the same flies so just you know you get a refusal change something on their streamer fishing and you're going to be surprised at what you can actually get to commit Okay, so now that's what, three, four, five fish, whatever that was in the first 10, 15, 20 yards, maybe 20 yards tops, 20 yards tops by 10, 10 yards across. I still got a little bit more before I have to give, the, give up the rod to Amelia. I'm hoping to get one more in this tail out flat. As I walk, I'm not actually looking at my feet. I know there's rocks here. I know that if I just walk normal, I'm gonna fall flat on my face and you're all gonna laugh at me, but I'm just feeling. So I'm looking up. I'm trying to stay on my tippy toes so I can see into the water to see any smudges or shapes, but, or follows or chases, but I'm feeling. I'm just feeling with my feet. I try not to do too many crossovers foot over foot, because that's the other thing that'll happen. You'll, you'll do that and you'll end up flat in your face too. So slow and just shuffle your feet and just launch it across and just come across. I think there's another space in those rocks right where that swallow just was right over in there see if anybody wants to come out of those rocks and come over the rocks let it drop one two three no nothing doing there picked up a little bit of weed on that back one right cast change to left and launch it over there you know just everything anything goes i got a couple more rocks i want oh there you go i knew somebody was gonna come 
That's the seal. I got it. No problem, Hayden. Thanks, so. Yeah. That's the saving grace of having a left-handed cast saving yourself. Just get it on the water sometimes. Nice. Just like that. And down we go. And I'm just going to stay with my left hand because I don't trust that wind right up in those rocks. Anytime you get shallow rocks, you got a chance of moving some fish on streamers. And then you've got those weed beds over there, right up in there. Anybody? Pause place. And now I'm just kind of, whoa, there he is. There he goes. Okay, fair enough. Right up in there, that was on that green woolly bugger trailer again. Doubt he comes back, but maybe his big mama brother will. I'm almost to the place I have to give the rod to Amelia. I don't want to, but this has been fun. This is a pretty good bit of water on a nondescript kind of slow day. You can really find some neat stuff, break down a piece of water, break down structure, and really hone in and move some fish in shallow rocky tailouts. And just like that, that's a half dozen fish to have fun with in a shallow piece of water where the fish were clearly holding and feeding in the rocks. Let's make that seven fish. And we're just having a great old time. And just gonna do this, bring this guy in. That's on 3X, so I should be fine. Okay, don't have a net in this case. So just come down, back, cradle, leave them upside down. That hook should pop with any luck.